So what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Oh, hey, what's up guys? <laughs> I'm Colin Slippin. Hey, he was on his phone. Hey, he was on his phone. He's, uh, you look up specs, aren't you? That's oh, I saying. am. That's exactly what I'm doing. All business, all business. <laughs> guys, we are in a really nice toy hauler. Now, this is a budget-friendly toy hauler. Absolutely, it is. And today, we're going to show you the economy and luxury. Yes, sir. So what are you missing out of this RV that you can get in a grand design. So this is a Force River, what's the model number again? So this is an XLR Boost, and this is called a 36 TSX-16. I don't know how you remember all this stuff. <laughs> I have to go online and look, because I can't remember these numbers, but yeah. What's the, and what's the other one we're gonna look at today? So the next one we're gonna look at is a grand design Momentum, and then they have a couple different classes. There's this called a G-Class, and that's a 320G. Okay. So stay tuned guys, it should be a good video. We're gonna go through, show you the floor plan, but most importantly, we're gonna show you the quality differences between them. I cannot wait to show you this garage. We're gonna start in the garage, but I got Justin, he's gonna... Be sure to subscribe to his channel, guys. This is some good stuff. Like, I probably would not have caught this because I was, you know, I would just be showing you guys how much space is in here. But this is a cool floor plan, trust me. Hold on one second. All right, so I'm gonna have Justin show you around this garage real quick. Take it away, bro. All right, guys, so we're inside the XLR Boost. This garage is massive. And when I say massive, I'm talking 16 foot massive. Probably one of the biggest garages I've been inside of. Dude, this is not 16 foot. Dude, I'm telling you it's 16 foot, Justin. Dude, this, guys, is this 16 foot? This is not a 16 foot Dude, garage. I'm bro. telling you, it's 16 foot. You wanna see something? Check this out. What's back behind here, Jack? Check that out one time. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it has a bathroom in here. No. Are you, dude, are you serious? Dude, I'm telling you, this thing folds up out of the way. 16 foot all the way up. Did you guys see that? I, I, in the comment section, have you seen that before? I have not seen that before in my life. Good job, Forest River. <laughs> I love it. Nice. Check out your living room slash kitchen area. Justin, what do you think? Man, this is massive. I mean, we walked in, I think the space that's inside here, taller ceiling heights, taller slides, Jeez. and no island in the middle. Oh, true. shoot. This is a party mobile is what yes, this is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Bring a lot of people in here. Where do the party lights at? Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Can I add some? <laughs> I know. And check out, I actually like when the TV's this high. Look at all your countertop TV, space. too. Dude, that thing's like 16 inch for that big TV. I know, it is a big TV. Now, they don't give you a whisk required AC unit. Mm -hmm. So, you do have one in here. In the garage, I don't see one in here, but I'm pretty sure there's one up front, though. Yep. For sure. But yeah, just like Justin said, this is probably the highest slide I've seen ever. This is probably, what, seven foot? Yeah, Easily. Geez. Or maybe, maybe six and a half. Six mm -hmm. and a half, close. It's close to seven foot, but yeah, man, that's tall. really tall. They do give you an area up top to sleep in. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as quality goes, I mean, look at your refrigerator size. Look at your cooktop and your oven. And just overall, like even your door, like just to point this out on the outside, there's no windows on your doors. This glass is not tinted either. Is, are there, is there anything else that you see that? Uh, I think window blinds too. You know, you got oh, the old style, true. you know, pleated nightshades. And then something too, you'll see in some nicer models is like the valance is really nice, but then they also give you a valance typically on the sides. Uh -huh. This is kind of lacking that. Some people like the look of just this because it makes it look clean. Mm -hmm. But you know, when you're looking at campers, you know, typically if you have those side valances, True. you know you're in a bit of a nicer one. True. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and walk up the stairs. Check out your cabinets too on the side. A lot of storage for the most part. Okay, I lied to you, there's not a lot of storage here. <laughs> but there's not a lot of storage here either. I lied to you guys, it just looked like a lot. But they do give you some storage for your keys and everything. So we're gonna walk up the stairs and check out this bathroom. This is a good size. Two vanities. Yeah, this is mm -hmm. pretty good size. It's kind of funky. Look. Okay. I mean, that's kind of what you get like in these kind of floor plans. Like mm -hmm. they don't give you any. What are those doors called again? I forgot already. Like the pocket doors. They don't give you any pocket doors. Man, look how big the bed is. Yeah. That. Okay. So the bed is big. Now they give you a walkway on this side, not on that side. Mm -hmm. Now does that bed go up too? Yeah, let's try that. Okay. So they give you storage below the bed. Now one thing I want to point out, my under bed storage 
it's connected to the slide. So I have mechanicals under there. So it's not a hard surface. So if you put anything other than clothes inside of there, that wood paneling will just come off. So I have to fix that sometime That's a good point. when it gets warm. So like, don't put anything heavy, but this is like a solid floor surface. So you can put boxes, you can put, you know, bins in here, no problem. So I like this a lot better. Alrighty, and up front here in the bedroom, we've got a small little wardrobe slide. So currently this thing's popped out now. When it comes in, it is gonna touch all the way up against the bed here. Okay. So that's something to consider if you need anything up front here, you're not gonna be able to open up those doors on this side over here or the drawers. Okay. But you can get into this, which is nice. Nice. They're pretty deep and long too. Oh yeah, they are pretty long. Now, what did you yep. say about this a AC? Oh too? yeah, that's a, a big, big deal. So this thing has two ACs, but the one that's up front here, it's also a ducted AC. A lot of manufacturers in order to cut cost, they do what's called like a drop-in AC. If you've ever seen or heard or camped in some of the old style, like pop-ups, for example, they're notorious for it. They put in this big AC unit that pushes all of the air right out in the middle of it. They're super noisy. Unless you like noise when you sleep, you're gonna hate it, okay? <laughs> with something like this, it's ducted and connected with the front AC. Okay. So if you're just running this and you're not running that back AC, believe it or not, this is gonna push through all the ducts and even keep that cool outside there, and vice versa. Okay, nice. Keep in mind too, you can run them both at the same time, they're gonna work together. Nice, that's pretty good too. And you say that this is it's also- thermostat controlled. Nice. Those other ones are less expensive, you gotta actually turn these on and there's no true temperature control to them. I Versus see. this, it's actually got a temperature control to it. All right, so some of the things that Justin pointed out on this one, as far as quality, it's not really a quality thing, but you lose a few options with this RV because of the size of your heater. What, what size is this again? So this is a six gallon water heater. Okay. And then standing next to our luxury model, you can see over here, that thing's got a big 10 gallon water heater. Yeah. Also, that thing's only propane driven. You're kidding. Yeah, really. So you gotta rely on just your propane up front. So if you're plugged into the campground, you're not using their electric to run your propane or her to uh, run your electric side of the water. That's good to know. Same with this guy over here. This is propane and electric. All right, so the exterior baggage doors here, a couple things I wanna point out. Number one, these baggage doors aren't very thick. They're not insulated. Number two, look at the accordion style hinges. Especially on a day like today, when we go to lift this up, unfortunately that always leaks water right down inside of here and it'll get right inside of your passenger storage, oh, okay. okay? Some of the nicer models, they'll cover this up, so you won't see this. Okay. The other thing is the little latches, okay? These are the 751 key latches that just swing, which means you got your hands full of a bunch of stuff, and you only got one hand to try and close this. You gotta like lean into it and try and kind of uh, cover this off. First of the other ones, are gonna be slam shut latches. Just slam them right shut. Now, as far as your steps go, they are very narrow, so just something to keep in mind too when going in and out. It's just a little bit harder, you can probably hurt yourself if you're not careful. And the door, is this door like a little bit more narrow or two? Yeah. But again, this is a budget friendly toy hauler. Now, Justin mentioned that you do have triaxles, however, these are 10 flat tires and they're wrapped on a steel wheel. There is no upgrade for the suspension either, so just something else to consider. They do give you steel steps out back, and as far as your jacks go, you just have your scissored style jacks back here. They do not give you any auto leveling system in this RV2. Last but not least, they do actually give you an option for a generator. Now this is gonna be through Yamaha and it is inverted too. So your exhaust comes out the front here and this is 5,500 watts too. All right guys, so now we're gonna walk into the Grand Design Momentum. Take it away. All right, let's do it. Let's all right guys, so we're standing back of the garage for the Grand Design Momentum 320G. First thing I want to point out is going to be insulation factors. A lot of manufacturers will typically cheap out on costs a little bit in order to get you to that budget friendly fifth wheel by not insulating their floors. They also won't insulate that back door either. With the Grand Design product and the nicer momentum, you know, you're going to have fully insulated garages all the way around. So that back door is insulated, your floor is insulated, sidewalls, and the roof. So this is gonna be a little bit more comfortable for your guests when they come back here and stay. But then also too, if you happen to have any fuel or anything like that, it's all kept in here in a little bit more of a climate controlled area. All right, so stepping in here guys, check this out. You can already see just the attention to detail a lot more. And I mean, I feel like this feels a little more softer tone. I mean, that other yeah. one, we had nice color tones, but mm -hmm. this one I like, this just feels more upscale. No, I would agree. Absolutely. I think cabinetry, you know, looks a little better. The the finishes, you know, for like your door handles here, these are a little nicer. True. And then something too, I kind of quickly noticed, like look at the crown molding all the way around. Oh, Like the nicely finished off trim pieces. I didn't see that with the other one. Nice. But then, hey, too, remember, look at the windows. 
them around on the sides like I was saying. It doesn't have the nice shades, but at least it's got these on the sides here to give it a little bit more of that finished feel. Tinted just having the top. Tinted glass Tinted too. glass, yep. Couple quick differences here too that the Momentum has over the XLR. So first off, you got some solid surface countertops. So these look like a Corian. Nicely finished, a little bit more residential feeling, a bit more comfortable. The other thing too is your faucet here. You can't really tell it. Um, by the way, this is on here for winterization. And right now it's winter time. In order to prevent that antifreeze from dripping out sure. inside of the sink, we just keep these wrapped off. But uh, the sink, the faucet itself, this pulls down and you have two different modes. You got a sprayer mode or you have like that solid mode. Okay. Of course, the other one won't have that. Okay. The other thing is you got the big farm sink, just like the last one, but this is stainless steel. Over the other one, it's just like that plastic finish, okay. you know? All right, guys, so we're gonna walk up to the bathroom, but before that, I want to show you, this does have a glass in the door too. The other one did not. And just check out the overall quality of your steps. They do give you a handle here going up. And just to point out, this does have a pocket door. The other one did not. It had like a lot of doors. They could just your regular doors. Mm -hmm. So it, it kind of was cumbersome inside of there. Now, I do notice they do give you a plastic sink. Come on, Grand Design. And when they give you a one-piece shower, which is a, a nice look overall, porcelain toilet, they give you storage, ample storage inside of here, actually. And you do have your standard style fan. The other one did have a fantastic fan, didn't it? Mm -hmm. So that was a good plus for that one. Check out the floor space in here, guys. Man, the wide body comes alive in this one. You can really feel it in this mm -hmm. one too. I would agree. Yeah, so wardrobe slide seems to be like the way they go in toy mm -hmm. haulers. Yep, and help then, lighten up some of that pin weight. Yeah, that's, oh yeah, true, mm -hmm. that's true, that makes sense. And just check out your overall doors design. I mean, I love this, it looks- It's beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's, it's beautiful, yeah. So you can kind of tell the luxury aspect is going to be here 100%. It looks nice. It has good quality. I mean, even Justin said, like, even with the insulation, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, it's something that's really, really important, not just in the garage, but for this thing all the way around, it's got double the insulation factors. It's going to be a lot cooler in the summer. And then when it's like, what, 20 degrees outside like it is right now, <laughs> you're going to be a lot warmer inside too when you're on that furnace. Cool. All right, so outside here, you got a 5,500 watt Cummins Onan generator. Something that's unique to Grand Design right now in the industry is this 5,500 watt generator actually gives you the ability to operate three ACs at one time. I said that right, three ACs at one time, okay? Wow. All off of a 50 amp service or all off of this guy right here. So they're using a soft starting compressor AC that gives you that ability. Uh, unlike the XLR, that ain't gonna be the case. <laughs> All right, so starting outside here, you got a little bit nicer doors here. They also have these slam shut latches, so they don't have the little swing latches like okay. what the other ones have. Not quite as thick as what we expected with this one either. I thought okay. it would be a little bit thicker okay. for this. But if you look inside here, storage wise, wow. And you can see all the aluminum trusses that run all the way across there too for the floor inside. Nice. One thing I love about Grand Design is they put spray ports on everything. All of it. And, and this is something that does come in handy, especially when you're breaking down, you want to wash off your, your uh, steps. steps or you want like, to wash off your dog or anything like that, your feet. Yep. You can do that all off the side of your RV right here. Absolutely. Uh, something that's cool too with Grand Design is they do a laminated slide box. The unique benefit to this is it gives you a little bit more of a structurally sound slide out. So it allows this thing to run in and out very straight. But then the oh. other thing too is it gives you the ability to stand up on top of the slide outs. If it isn't laminated on the sides here, on the roof and on the sides and on the floor of this thing, it's not strong enough to stand on top of the slide. And obviously we're not having a party up there, it's just simply for maintenance, but at least that gives you the ability to do it with this. Right. Now, as far as this one goes too, you do have a six point auto leveling system. And look at the overall design of these tires. I mean, these are four, 14 ply, right? 16. Oh, excuse me. This is 16 ply tires, eight lug, and they do give you a like more ride Cree 3000 suspension too. So I mean, this is definitely a higher quality fifth wheel just out of the gate, just looking at the overall components on the outside. They do give you aluminum steps. On the Forest River, they did give you steel steps. Well, hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. What I'll do is, um, I'll show you the price difference between these RVs too. Yeah. That way it. you guys have a better idea mm -hmm. and then we'll go from there. All right, sweet. Cool. On Beckley's website, they do have the Forest River XLR Boost listed at $69,088. Now this one was 44 foot long. It had a 16 foot garage. 
And when you take a look at the Grand Design Momentum G-Class, this one was only 36 foot long and it had an 11 foot garage, but it was 84,786. So this one right out of the gate is already more expensive. Now, if you take a look, they do have what's called an M-Class. This is the highest level of luxury for the toy hauler from Grand Design. Now this one's only 38 foot long and this one has an MSRP of $100,000 basically. And it's only 38 foot long. So just right out of the gate, you can kind of see that this one just has a little bit more quality built into it compared to the Forest River. And if you do want to get a larger garage, like a 16 foot garage from Grand Design, you can do so. Now this one right here, I just kind of added a few options to it. It was $96,325. But in the comment section, let me know your thoughts. If you own a toy hauler or if you had a couple of different brands, let me know your thoughts on which ones you thought were more higher quality. I mean, Justin made some really good points about having the insulation in the garage area. And even sometimes a lot of manufacturers will skim on insulation even throughout the RV. So this is something you should look for if you are in the market for a toy hauler. But thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope it was helpful be sure to subscribe to my channel check out justin shane holcher's channel he's starting his youtube channel and i think that he has a lot of good value that he can add to the rv world and i'm sure he'd appreciate it if you gave him a follow too so i will link his channel in the description and i'll see you guys in the next video